Welcome to Functional Horsemanship, and this post is about uh, trailer loading. Not necessarily about how to load a horse in the trailer, but a couple things that you that you may want to consider if you're going to trailer your horse someplace. Um, one of them is a butt rope, and although using a butt rope or any external aids to get a horse in the trailer is, is really not the preferred method, uh, you want that horse to go in that trailer willingly and back out of that trailer. Uh, a lot of things uh, may happen. You may have a rough trailer ride. Get that horse out in the wilderness someplace. He may not want to go in. You're by yourself. A butt rope can come in handy. And uh, I'm not ashamed to say I've had to use it a time or two. So a butt rope is all, nothing more than a, a large rope. And I prefer this thick three-quarter inch diameter rope. Uh, usually has a snap on one end. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it to a, a ring on the trailer. And as I'm maintaining control of my horse, I'll open my trailer door. And put this butt rope through the trailer door where I can access it as I get the trailer door open and I'm well ready to load the horse. Another thing that comes in handy if you're by yourself is a piece of rebar because usually there may be, usually there's some wind that, that may uh, not allow you to, to keep the trailer door open, so you may have to use an artificial prop uh, to keep this door open. And I'm just going to push it all the way, put that prop in there like this, and it helps keep that, that door open. I'm going to take this butt rope. U like this. So as I bring my horse up to the trailer, and he has to be able to get this far, but all this butt rope is going to be doing, used for is I'm going to pick up slack in it, and use it to put some pressure on my horse as I get it in the trailer. Okay, back. Back, 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 back. Okay. You want to come over from, from this side and shoot the other angle now? Again, I'm going to lay this rope out, create a big uh, U or half a circle for this horse course to be able to walk into. As I bring him up to the trailer, Maybe this is where he gets a little anxiety. May not want to move in the trailer here. I get him inside that rope. I pick up on the rope. And use it as a pressure aid to get him moving forward. Back out. Back. Back. Down. Step. One alternative to, the, to having a snap on that butt rope is to take a rope and loop it through something so if the horse does get caught up in it and tries to bolt, uh, it's not going to be anchored to anything. But again, a butt rope, Junior's probably not the best horse to demonstrate that on because he willingly gets in a trailer, but you're putting that butt rope on the back of his legs or his butt, hence the name butt rope, and put a little pressure getting him to move forward. I hope this helps functional horsemanship.